Good morning, Bespoke Babes, it's Dr. Kim. A common question that I get asked is, where did I take my Botox course, or which Botox course did I take? And I've been asked this several times in person and also through our messenger uh, inbox, people want to know which course I took. So the short answer is I didn't take a Botox course. Um, I'm a plastic surgeon. So I just want to, in this video, review uh, what it is to be a plastic surgeon and the kind of training that we, uh, we get. Um, so, I did a four-year undergraduate degree in biology, BSCH, from Queen's, uh, and that was my first degree, four years in biology. I then went to medical school also at Queen's for four years to get the MD degree. And following that, did a plastic surgery residency. So plastic surgery, dermatology, and ENT are probably some of the more, or if not the most competitive um, residency programs to get. So after we get our MD degree, we have to complete a residency in order to get um, an independent uh, practice license. So. The year that I was accepted into plastic surgery, uh, there were actually nine spots in all of Canada. And so I worked my butt off in medical school uh, to be accepted into one of those nine spots in Canada. So I did five years of plastic surgery training at McMaster University. And during plastic surgery training, uh, the first two years we rotate through various uh, specialties within surgery uh, in order to learn what are called the principles of surgery. And then we write uh, a national standardized exam called the Principles of Surgery through the Royal College of Physicians and Surgeons of Canada. Once we have achieved profic proficiency in the Principles of Surgery, we then move on to our subspecialty training, and for me that was plastic surgery. And what that plastic surgery residency involves is training in a number of different areas focused on both form and function, aesthetics and reconstruction. So that includes areas like pediatrics and doing congenital um, pediatric abnormalities, cranial facial hand abnormalities. Uh, we do breast surgery, breast reconstruction, uh, hand and wrist surgery. We do burn surgery, microsurgery, which is um, replanting limbs and reconstructing after trauma or cancer, cranial facial surgery, putting people's faces back together after either trauma or uh, cancer. And then of course, cosmetic or aesthetic medicine and surgery, which involves dedicated training to both surgery, cosmetic surgery, as well as the uh, non-surgical aesthetics like Botox and fillers, etc., lasers. And I did that aspect of my training, the cosmetic aspect, uh, in Toronto with Dr. Lloyd, Lloyd Carlson, who really is considered to be sort of one of the founders of cosmetic medicine and surgery in Canada. Uh, and I was really, really lucky to be able to do my training with him uh, in his facility, which was amazing. It's important, um, the, all the other aspects of our training are really important because uh, if we are trained to put faces back together again after trauma or cancer, etc. we really need to know our anatomy. And anatomy is very, very important when it comes to non-surgical aesthetics and safety as well as outcomes. So understanding the anatomy in that depth actually helps us achieve excellent cosmetic outcomes um, because we are dissecting through those tissues, we're putting them back together. And of course, the level of understanding of anatomy that you get when you are reconstructing someone's face or putting it back together is much, much beyond uh, just reading it in a textbook. Um, following our five years of plastic surgery training, the, we then write our exam through the Royal College of Surgeons, our specialist certification in plastic surgery. Um, honestly, the hardest exam I have ever written in my entire life. Um, 
And once we achieve that, we then receive a license for independent practice and are considered to be a specialist in plastic surgery. But the vast majority of us then move on and do uh, subspecialty fellowship training, which can be one, two, or three years in a specific area of um, plastic surgery of our choice. And I spent quite a bit of time actually doing burn surgery um, and really gaining in-depth knowledge of skin, skin anatomy, wound healing, um, and uh, all the other aspects that go with uh, burn care, skin care, and uh, spent a lot of time working closely actually with the dermatologist as well. Um, plastic surgery, dermatology, and ENT are the only specialties, the three specialties that actually receive uh, examination at a national accredi accredited level on cosmetic or aesthetic medicine and um, surgery. Those are the only three practitioners, plastic surgery, dermatology, and ENT, who have actually uh, received uh, accredited education, training, and completed examinations in aesthetic medicine and aesthetic uh, surgery. So that's actually important when you're looking for a practitioner to know the kind of training and background they're coming from. Is it just a weekend course? Is this something that they've picked up as a sideline uh, in a couple of weekend courses, or is this their dedicated uh, focus of their training? Um, and then, of course, many plastic surgeons, myself included, go on to even do further training after that. And I did my master's of science degree uh, following that as well. So plastic surgery uh, in total uh, took me over 14 years of uh, training and education, um, which is much, uh, a lot of challenge, a lot of hours, um, a lot of fun too. And I can honestly say that I absolutely love being a plastic surgeon. I feel really, really lucky that this is what I get to do um, for a living. This is what I get to dedicate my life to. Um, I love all aspects of my job and I just feel really uh, so fortunate that this is what I get to do. Um, so that is what it takes to become a plastic surgeon. That is how we train. And of course, as always, if you have any uh, questions, you can post them or send them in. And if you have any ideas for other videos, of course, send them in because uh, we're always looking for video ideas. Have a great day with Spoke Babes.